Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are at Jaramogi Oginga's home, who is the dad to Raila Amolo Odinga, who fought for independence and, and has brought democracy. As you can see here, it has been written Kango Kajaramogi. I think they have painted it so you can't see it well. Maybe they are doing some one two renovation. So come along with me, guys. We want to see how this place looks like. Here is where we have the first house of Raila Amolo Odinga. The first house of a male is called Simba. So come along with me, guys. So this is the entrance. It's so serene. Like it. Oh my god, just look along. So this is how it looks like. So come along with me guys. I'm so excited. Let's see how this place looks like. Wow. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this video. <laughs> Oh my goodness at this point i like i didn't believe like i don't have the words to describe what i'm feeling right now like i'm at the home of raila amolo odinga you guys i'm so happy let's see how this one goes such is the entrance green tall trees on both sides of this tarmac road that leads to the main gate i'm at Jaramogi Oginga's home, you find this beautiful um, lion art. I don't know, it symbolizes strength and everything. So, we're going inside, and this is how this place basically looks like. So, we want to go, let's see how everything looks like, guys. You guys my guys oh my goodness like, i can't believe i'm in jeremogi oginga's home this is siaya county that is county number 041 which has born lots and lots of um famous good people like raila amal odinga we have barack obama oh my goodness um let's check and see how this one goes we even have schools students bring brought here like for history they come and visit and you know all the stuff mm -hmm. oh well, we have lots of these um lion symbols so there's another one just right over there two of them guys oh my goodness Just behind me is the Jaramogi Odinga, Odinga Mausoleum. I don't know how that's called, but um, this is how the gate looks like. Oh, so beautiful. So we're going inside. And whoa, look at these guys. Look at this. Like on this side, we have one lion. And on this side, we have another lion. Oh my God. Like this home has lots of such lions to symbolize power and bravery a mausoleum is a stately or impressive building housing a tomb or group of tombs so the difference between a mausoleum and tomb is that tombs can either be found up above the ground or below but a mausoleum is commonly found above the ground and tombs are much smaller than mausoleums so let me know if you had known that Alia. Jaramogi Oginga's grave. So, this is basically how it looks like. And on top of it, we have this beautiful lion. Nambona mna penda lion. Mbona oneka lion sana. Jaramoka ni kukwe for Kenya. Kukwe ni kukwe yu simba. Mbona mna for Kenya ni kukwe yu simba. Oh, guys. So... For Kenya was a coalition, Sindio, and it was symbolized by a lion. And I'm being told that he died due to Ford Kenya, like he was fighting so hard for that coalition. And that is why you see in his compound, we have so many of such. So this is his picture. Um, this is the dad to Raila Amolo Odinga. So this is his picture. Oh my goodness. So, Ooh, look at how this place looks like oh my goodness and what i love the most is this um this is his famous quote as you can see it has freedom has a prize so he loved this saying so much and 
indeed it's so true that freedom has a price you have to pay for freedom so basically this is how it looks like and i wonder why it's lighting oh wow they have even placed lights and the good thing is that jaramogi odinga had odinga has left a legacy to his son like it has been trickled down to raila amol odinga because he's really struggled for this country so much actually he vied for presidency five times and he hasn't even won once so this is where the dad to raila amol odinga was buried so still this part is part of the mausoleum i don't know how it's called so here is Jeremoki Ogingo Odinga greets Dalmas. Wow, we have so many photos of his. Here he oh, wow. is, and then we have Jomo Kenyatta, oh, wow. who was the first president of the Republic of Kenya. Oh wow! And then we have here, and then we have him. And there's so many of them. So maybe if you never got a chance to see him when he was alive, you can come and see his pictures through this area. Yeah. So he died in 1994, and this is where the famous Jeremogi Odinga Oginga, the father to Raila Odinga, was buried. Yeah. So beautiful. Here we have the Jaramogi Memorial Museum and opposite we have now the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Mausoleum. So you just cross, you find here. So inside here you find everything like his cap, his bed, shoes, like this Orengo, the one that I will put a photo there. So when you see inside here we have still lions and whoa, that is the strike like everywhere we have that symbol of the lion so power 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 and this is how it looks like just at the entrance of the museum is the history of jaramogi oginga odinga and trust me you you will love this part like you guys do you know the meaning of a museum like you will find things that were there like years back so these were a collection of caps or cups <laughs> from jaramogi oginga odinga he used to wear them during different um party coalition events or meetings and this is just like beautiful um these were hats that were worn by Jaramogi, Oginga Odinga, oh, wow, so beautiful. Like it's so nice because they are preserved here for people to see. Wow, what? What? So when you come to Sierra County, to be specific, Bondo, don't forget to come to this amazing place. We have, she's here, so this is, Mama Mary Juma. The mom. The mom to who? Jaramogi. Mama Mary Jambo Dinga. Mama Magina Raila. Kurumachi Jaramogi. Odinga Odinga. Legend really. Ili kwa bedumi yake. Real real. Real real. So this was his bedroom. Like come on. Maya kitanda kitanda kitanda. Hey, Napa Nakam, handsome man. So he's the one. So this was Jaramogi Oginga's main house, and this was his bed. Nakamai Manu Umurego. And then the beautiful seeds, and oh my goodness, guys, look at his shoes. Yeah, what good. Wow. And then his wardrobe. Oh wow. Hey, look at this kind of nini, isn't it? Where the suitcases. Oh my goodness. 
Uhuru na 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 Jomo. Eh, hey, he used to listen to music. <laughs> my clothes. Jerano <laughs> Jenny. Pajama suit. Yeah, when he was arrested, guys, look at this. This is someone jacking out of the Yeah. <laughs> So basically, this was his room, and then we have his bathroom. Wow, I look at a bathtub. I'm making me what we do. Kita mo na buo na bathtub. Wow, his toothbrush. Ma, ano ni kogo? Go lang ko na wait. Ano ni kogo kapi? Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Um, chicken feathers. This one basically you yeah. use it to remove that because back then we didn't have ear buds, so you remove that from your ear using this. And then he used to brush his teeth using this stick. What history is so amazing! And then his toilet right over here. But I'm really, really surprised because I never knew like. We had bathtubs and such toilets back then, but this is how his room basically looked like. Wow! Oh my goodness! Wow! Look at this. When attending funeral, this is what he used to have. And you guys, I don't know if you understand when I say this man is legendary. Like what? Wow! Look at this. You have um all the um. An assortment of walking sticks used by Jaramoke Oginga Odinga when he was a member of different political parties, that is Kanu, KPU and Ford. Each party had a unique party symbol. So look at this, it looks like a chicken up there. And then you have this one, which ship is this? Snake or what? And then you have this one, like someone sitting here. Oh, so beautiful. So here yeah, guys we have the Jaramogi and the world. So basically here you find photos of different places where he was. Like oh my goodness, it's just like I don't know how to I don't have words to to describe this, but this is everything. When you look around guys, um this um part of the his home has lots of like lots of pictures, like it's all about pictures like what? Look at this, guys. What, 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 what? Oh, so we have Jaramogi's first family. Here is Raila. This one. So we call him Baba, this one. I don't know if you can see him. Sorry. Here is Baba, Raila Amolo Odinga. So this place has photos. Wow. Look at this. Chief Justices in Kenya since 1963. Wow, look at that, guys. Look at that. Like, it, it's just... Ah! Oh, my God! I've seen the best. <laughs> Presidents and Prime Ministers of Kenya. Now we have His Excellency Mze Jomekunyata, the first Prime Minister and President of Kenya. We have Daniel Torontich Arab Mui. We have Mwai Kibaki. And then you have Raila Amolo Odinga. And then you have Uhuru Kenyatta. And now acting is... Oh, now the President is... Zakayo, like I'm sorry guys, but Ruto, yeah, Ruto. And we reject the finance bill. Ooh, we have the vice presidents of Kenya. Wow, look at this. So if you want to know more, more about this history of Kenya and its government, this is the right place to come. What? Oh wow! Oh wow! What you guys? Like what? I, like what? Corridors of fame. Jeez, I can't. 
to believe this. So we have um, Barack Hussein Obama. You guys, you know this guy now. Look at you. Oh my God. Martin Luther King Jr. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And that is his famous quote. And the good thing with these leaders, they had their famous quote, which they are known for. And then Nelson Mandela, let freedom reign. So here he is, a good fighter also. Marvel Com X. So this is the corridors of fame, guys. We have John F. Kennedy, and there are so many, like so many. Wow, look at these guys. Who? So nice. And it's everywhere. And then you have certain things here. Look at this cup, such a beautiful one. And then, sote tunakupenda sana. Karibu sana langata. By the way, do you, did you know that trailer uh, was also an MP for langata? So I think that is, this is it. And then you have some beautiful boats. Oh, wow. What? Look at these guys. Oginga died um, 1994, buried, also the date is there. You have also this one, and you have um, this type, like I don't know, boat or ship, something of the sort, but oh my goodness, I'm impressed. So impressed, like so impressed. Hmm. Hey, it's such, an, it's such a big place. Oh wow, look at these guys. What, what, what? So this one is a Nyatiti, commonly played in Luo. It's, the, it's for the Luo. So when they do instrumentals, this is one of them. It's called Nyatiti. We have um, this one, we have the drums. Wow, these are, wow, look at these guys. So this one is a Luo traditional leather bag used for carrying small items. So this is how it looks like. What? What? And I love these things. Oh. And then beautiful art paintings. Wow. Nice ones. This is a fish trap. It's called Cienyo. This is how it looks like. Oonga. These are these are fish traps. We have another one also right here. This is how it looks like. We have um Honorable Raila Odinga's gift corner. So. On this side, you find all the gifts that he has been given. Mostly they are wall arts. Look at this. Turkey gift from Turkey. He was gifted this one from Turkey. Wow. And then you have the Mecca gift. Mecca gift. Ooh. We have the Iraq gift. What? Feels like a carpet. And then you have um, working stick collection. This is a collection of working stick gathered by Honorable uh, Wright Raila Amolo Odinga throughout his political life. So these are Raila's working sticks collection. So nice. Hey, you sure guys. Hey, look at this as the symbol of Kenya. Just behind me here, we have a um, books collection, biographs and autographs. So you can see we have the book collection, an assortment of books collected by Raila Mulodinga. 
in recognition of the fact that knowledge is power and that it frees the mind minds of those who possess it so, <laughs> so <laughs> this is the <laughs> oh wow look at this not yet uhuru not yet uhuru is rail is oginga odinga's book which says uhuru in kenya uh, so it's a swahili word to mean freedom so this book basically means not yet freedom even in as much as kenya got kenya got independence in 1963 there was still oppression within kenya itself and that is why he wrote this book not yet freedom not yet uhuru so this is one of the book oh there's so many look at this and engima in kenya politics we have oh reloadinga the flame of freedom and you guys i've not even read one of this book and visiting today has changed that for sure i'm going to buy one and i'm going to read about the history like what so there are so many napoleon we have there we have moi oburu oginga nelson mandela wow fidel look at this caring for the future a month a day and like this is to show you that this family is a family of intellectuals age like you guy my guys what and then you have um this is called uh, it's a game i don't know how it's called but you play with it so that is how it looks like lots of pictures yeah oh wow beautiful seats wow so i don't i, I oh gifts gifts chairs presented to the right honorable raila amolo dinga as gifts in karachuonyo and at nabonyo mumia oh. so actually this is these are the gifts that he was the seats that he was gifted eh hey, english na fatalela jeez okay wow so i think that is enough for this place wow mm. beautiful oh my god look at this picture like you, you look as in la moja inawezekana actually this was the handshake because the two uh, they were not in agreement but they came together for the benefit of Kenya so when you see this just know like this is the handshake wow nice 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 guys look at this this is to symbolize handshake so and then you have this bird right over here this just symbolizes peace we have the mama mary's corner who is the mom to raila oh, so actually basically here we have everything that she used to cook with so we have this tone um this was used to process um maize into maize flour so you use it to cook porridge and also cook ugali so on this side we have stove look at this used by mama mary in early 1950s and then you have this one kalabash <laughs> aguata so basically this one we use it in local culture to drink with it porridge yeah porridge and then you have the pan we have everything like literally everything come on go one two is good apa ni wanya mawa lakini kuna itwaje hapa vile hapo kuna inside here we have um um animals but not like animals animals like just should i say monument of animals like we have this one 
the buffalo. So buffalo stuffed, and then this is how it looks like. And then you have the food of the elephant. This is how it looks like. Actually, someone can sit on top. Mm. Wow. So that is why students are brought here. They, it's it's so much like there's so much that some people can learn from this place. Oh my God, Kongoni! Look at this. Wow, giraffes. Food. Wild beast just above me. Hey, jeez. Leopard. Hey, look at this guy. water bank um so this section we just find and uh, like these animals wow <laughs> mounted hippo wow rhino wow. Ostrich eggs. Look at this guy. Crocodile, like crocodile. Isn't it? Isn't it? Ah, yeah, snake. Snake. Basically, these animals were taxidermified after they had died so what happens is that the intestines are removed and then filled with special material just two of them um, are molded but the rest they were real animals they died and then taxidermified so just behind me we have the rhino wow beautiful what is this Lion, king of the jungle. Wow. Then you have a portrait of the lion. So this is Sibur. Um, basically, lion in Luo language, we know it as Sibur. So if you are um, a woman of substance, you can call yourself Sibur Madako. <laughs> Sibur Madako, I'm a Sibur Maway. Hey, Yawa! Hey, it's so nice! Wow, look at this! Uri Jaramogi? So, this is the Jaramogi of Kingdom. Let me know which part of yours was the best. Oh my god! You guys who wanna come visit this place and just see for yourself the beauty of history. Just mm. behind me is the cemetery where like everyone who has died in this home has been buried. So this is the graveyard of Fidel Castro Odinga. As you can see. So this is the son of Raila Amolo Odinga. First son, no? The first son to Raila Amolo Odinga was buried here. We have like Raila Osewe. Basically this is their graveyard. So this side we have um, Mama Mary Odiambo Odinga. So this is the mom to Raila Amolo Odinga. May their soul rest in peace. Yeah, may their soul rest in peace. So this is the graveyard also. So sad. Oh. May their souls rest in entire peace. May their souls continue resting in peace. 
this is where they have been buried. Guys, this behind me is the first home of Raila Amolo Odinga. So come along with me, let's see how it looks like. So basically, this is how it looks like. This was his first home. Can you even believe it? And imagine guys, look at look at these guys. This is the first home of Raila Amolo Odinga. Like it's called Simba in Luo language. Simba basically means the first home that a man gets when he leaves his parents' home. So let me check inside. So but I'm being told someone lives here um right now. So what I'm learning from all of these guys, it doesn't matter where you come from. Like your situation is never permanent. Just look at these guys. And Raila is now very honorable. He has traveled to many, many countries. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nothing is permanent. You can make it in life. It doesn't matter where you come from. With your hard work, determination, and patience, you can make it. So this is the home to Raila Omola Odinga. And th I thank God that I have had a chance to come here. And may um, Jaramogi Odinga's soul rest in peace for his good work that he has done here in Kenya so guys goodbye till the next one I really do appreciate for your time and also watching my videos